It's another beautiful day down here at Hallover Inlet. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet in Miami, Florida. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, along with our boy Wavy Boats getting the images. Let's go ahead and get this competition started. Our first predator to come through and do battle with Hall over this episode is going to show you the art of the U-turn. Yes, there is an actual art to this. U-turns actually, especially in waves like this, can be very dangerous sometimes because the last thing you want to do is have a wave hit you on the beam of the boat. It can easily roll the boat and get you into trouble. Kind of like we'll see here coming up in a few moments. While this boat doesn't get flipped over, they do wind up catching a wave on the beam right around here and things could have gone bad fast. They got pretty fortunate here to get away from this one pretty easy, but the one thing they won't walk away with easily is a win, because this round right here is definitely gonna go to haul over. It's funny when I see things like this happen, everybody on the boat usually has a smile and they're pretty excited. Check out my man sitting here waving to everybody, taking a bow for their loss. Our second contestant to do battle with Hallover is going to show you what it's like when somebody comes through Hallover absolutely crushing it. This is a rough day. I didn't expect to see any of these types of things happen today, but my man's coming through here throttled down. He's absolutely annihilating Hallover on a day where a boat shouldn't be coming through the inlet this fast at all. But I do have to admit, I'm pretty impressed how this boat handled it. And this is pretty obvious that this round right here will absolutely go to the boats. While our last boat absolutely crushed Hallover, it's definitely not a good day for the bow riders. Here we're going to see another bow rider come through and try and do battle with Hallover Inlet, but I got a feeling we're about to see the art of the U-turn again. These guys take an absolute hole slapping right here, and these guys decide just after that one wave, this is not for them, and they would rather be at the sandbar than doing this, so they're going to turn it around and call it a day. This has not been a good day for the bow riders. Obviously, this round's going to go to Hallover Inlet, and the bow riders are going to fall to 0-2 for the day. But you know what? Let's go ahead and give the boats a little bit of a hand. They're going to need some extra help. We're going to go ahead and break out the big guns. Let's let the big boats come out to play and see how they handle Hallover on this rough day. Obviously here we got a rather large sport fishing vessel coming out of Hallover and this one should make easy work of Hallover Inlet. A boat of this size should have no issues even with these rough seas that we're seeing here today. This is basically what this boat's designed for. Right here you can see they're coming out of Hallover. They got a good pace going and to be honest there's no issues kind of like we expected whatsoever. When we let the big boats come out and play usually they're still going to have an inherited advantage over Hallover and we're going to go ahead and give this round of the boats. That's going to take us into the fifth and final round tied it to a piece. Who'll take the win this week. The boats are haul over inlet. Well, we're going to let the beast decide, which means that the boats are likely going to take a win. I mean, I know it's rough out there today, but not rough enough to stop a 60 foot midnight express. There's no way in the world haul over can really take this victory on the conditions with the day that they're having right now. Oh my gosh, maybe they can. Haul over just smack the snot out of this boat and let's see y'all. And haul going to give this boat another lashing. This boat is going to have water absolutely everywhere. I really can't believe I'm saying this because when I saw this was our last boat, I thought there was no way, but haul over takes the win. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the content. Content. If you did, be sure to check out our other channels. We have Wavy Boats, who gets us all this epic footage down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And our newest channel, Miami Boat Ramps, that focuses on all the craziness that happens at the boat ramps in Miami. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on that subscribe button.